Hello, Cantor. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the first half of October. I have meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled, as always. I will shuffle live. During meditation, Spirit showed me Saturn, but it was off-kilter. And it's telling me that something in the home space is off. Um, they're also saying that your reality is not reality or the reality of someone is not reality. Uh, take it how it resonates. And it just said reality is not reality. So I, I, I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, Perhaps something that you view as one way is perhaps another or perhaps the way somebody views you is not in fact correct, but a different way. I, I don't know. Uh, so take that how it resonates. Okay. With the dragonfly, uh, when I was meditating on the dragonfly card, It feels like there's been a long period of stagnation and maybe you've been anxiously awaiting um, to, this card really wants to fall out. Perhaps you've been anxiously awaiting to get going on something. Whatever that looks like to you. But it, it just feels that it's because I'm, I'm really drawn to the, the, the water on the lake where it's just pretty still. There's some movement, but not, not like movement in a river or not like movement in, um, Not like movement in a river and not like movement in the ocean. This is very stale water and it feels like you want things to move, but there, there is no movement or very, very, very little movement. Okay. And I'm drawn to the, the Saturn and I, I very specifically heard home space and this could have to do with the home space or purchasing a home or something like that. Um, but I'm really drawn to two dragonflies. So it could be a couple and then I see two of cups here in reverse. So this could be a relationship or a family member or, you know, somebody that means something very deeply to you. Or it could be something that is incredibly important to you. Doesn't necessarily have to be um, a romantic relationship. This could be something that means to you, that means deeply to you, that relates to the home space. So let's say you have a home office and you do a side business from your home office or from your home, right? That could be it. as well. So take it how it resonates. These are general readings. Whoa. I didn't even see that come out. All right. Let's take a look at, oh, your cards are out. Let's take a look at your cards. Nope, they want the bottom of this deck. Okay. We have the Fairlet, uh, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, Prince of Cups in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're trying to make something happen, but it just feels like, this is Temperance, by the way. Um, 
you're trying to balance something out. You're trying to make something happy, joyous, but whatever it is you're doing, it just, it doesn't feel like it's enough. It feels like there's something missing here. It just, there's, I'll get a card, I'll get a clarifier, but it feels some, there's something missing here with the, the fair lip. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'll get a I'll get a clarifier for this. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this fillet, but there's something missing. I can't pinpoint it. Perhaps you can't pinpoint it at uh, either. I, I it just feels like you're missing an ingredient in order to make something happen. All right, we have the four of swords, prince of cups, six of swords. Listen. With, with these cards in reverse. Oh, hold on. I didn't even go into the two of cups in reverse at the bottom of, or did I? Oh, I did. I did. I'm so sorry. I did. Just kidding. Disregard. I feel so discombobulated in this reading. Like I can't focus properly. It's almost like I have, um, like I'm overly focused on one thing that I have already forgotten that I've already done something. I hope that makes sense. If that is how you're feeling, then this is definitely for sure you're reading because that's the energy that I'm picking up. It feels... You feel restless. It feels like you feel restless. Like that's what I'm picking up on. It's like you're tired of waiting. And you're like, okay, let's get going. Things should be fixed by now. But but they're not. Things should be fixed by now, but but they're not. You have the Prince of Cups. Did, don't you have a print? Yeah. Oh, no, that's the Knight of Cups. Just kidding. It's the Princess of Cups. That's the Page of Cups. Oh, but you have the Page of Cups here. You have the Page of Cups twice. And the Prince of Cups. This, look at the, look at all the pages here. Something is in the very beginning stages. But before we even get to this, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to this. It, again, the Knight of Cups, no motion. This is in reverse. There's no motion. But it, because this is the, uh, the, the Knight of Cups, which is about emotion, hopes, dreams, there is no movement. Look, even the six of swords, there's no movement up here. Like you want to talk about stagnation, all of this, like you're trying to do something, but it's like everything is working against you. At least that's how you're feeling for sure. Like things aren't working for you. You feel like you're doing something about it. Another card here for the fearlet. Really? Yeah. And here's the thing. It feels like you think you're doing something about it. It feels like you're taking action, but it feels like whatever action that is, is very minimal. I want one more card, please, if you don't mind. One more card. What's missing? Like, what is missing? What is missing? Pl 
clarity. Clarity on this. Clarity. Without clarity, you don't get the victory. Without the clarity, you don't get the victory. Okay? Without the clarity, you don't get the victory. You, you, whatever actions you're taking in regards to whatever this is in your life, take it how it resonates, put it into your life. Whatever actions you, you believe you are taking, it feels like you have to take more steps, more action, follow through. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They're saying... Action isn't in, isn't enough. A follow through needs to happen. Okay, a follow through needs to happen. I'm not calling you out, you guys. It, I don't know you. You know, I don't know you. I don't know your situation. I can only read the cards. This is what this is saying. You start off like with the desire, but there is no follow through. Like you start taking the action. But there's no follow through. It stops right there. Perhaps you don't know how to follow through. Which is why you don't get the win. Okay? You need some sort of clarity, you guys. you got to get clear-minded, see a situation for what it is, in order, and remember, I think I said something like that about um, with the Saturn that was like off kilter, right? It was a little, it was off to the side. Um, very, very interesting. Yeah, there's just no movement whatsoever. We have the star, six of wands in reverse again. The chariot, page of pentacles, page of cups. Feels like the desire is there. Feels like the desire is there, but it also feels like you want to fly under the radar. Like you don't want to be on somebody's radar. Like you're just like, oh, I'm just going to lay back. But it, it's like you want things to magically happen. You cannot gain the momentum and you can't change the course of whatever this is without showing what you're capable of. Look, both cards. Oh, no, just kidding. This is page, uh, or that's night. These are both nights. Just kidding. Never mind. We have the page of pentacles and the page of cups. You need to show how you really feel by action. Genuine action and following through. Enough for you to be noticed. Okay? So if this is in a business that you have at home, right? There's something that you're not doing that could help you be noticed. All right. Let's say you have a YouTube channel and you don't want to be seen. Okay. You don't want to be seen. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's also ways to draw people in. What can you do? What sets you apart? Because flying under the radar isn't going to get you noticed. Isn't going to um, get you to where you need to be in business. Okay. If this is in a, in a relationship, right? Like a romantic relationship and you know, you're just doing the bare minimum, right? You're just doing just enough to squeak on by with your partner. That's not going to get you the momentum to get what you desire out of this relationship. I don't know you. I don't know what you desire. But it feels like you have love for this person. But this is, I mean, you have, this is the page of cups. 
but it also feels here like <sighs> there's a vulnerability here with this page of pentacles. It's uh, it's almost like I'm hearing the word mothered. You're being mothered. And you're like, you don't, it feels like you don't know what direction to take. It feels like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place is what it feels like. Yeah, you don't know what the hell to do. You want clarity yourself and you don't know what the hell to do. You don't know what to choose. Yeah. Hence why you're not moving forward. Why the six of wands here, please? Why the six of wands? Because it's easier. Because it's easier. Yeah, well, sure, of course it's easier. But you're not going to get the result that you want. Of course it's easier. We have the Five of Coins, Page of Cups, Four of Coins, all in reverse. And then we have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You know what, with this Five of Coins, it, <laughs> all right. I'm going to say something and I, I'm going to try to be very gentle in how I say this, but take it how it resonates. Okay. So please be kind. And I apologize. It feels like you're complaining with this five of coins. You're complaining about your external situation and you're not dealing with the actual problem. You're not dealing with the actual problem, the internal problem. That's what it feels like. Without doing this, without, without facing what's actually going on, what the root of the actual problem is, you cannot move forward, period. I set it up here. Without the clarity, ain't, there's no fixing this whatever this is you it feels like you'll be left behind it feels like you're afraid of being left behind i should say your defenses are way up very very strong like you i don't want to see it i don't want to see it well you have to in order to fix whatever the hell this is what is going on cancer what the hell I may have a card here for the five of coins. I, I need to give you guys advice. Uh, I'll get advice from Spirit because this is, this is like a lot. And again, I'm not calling you out. We've all been there. We've all been uh, through situations where we're like, no, we don't want to see it. But in order to take the steps in the right directions, we have to face our demons. Oh, this could be about a divorce, a separation, a lack of commitment. The page of cups here. Why is the page of cups? Yeah. yeah, you don't want to look like the bad guy, period. Bad guy, bad girl. I don't take it how it resonates. You don't, you don't want to appear like the bad guy and the bad girl. Six of swords. This might end up in a divorce if it's not ultimately 
or a separation because the Hierophant is about, it's a marriage card. Both of these are marriage cards, by the way. I'm not telling you that this is your outcome. I'm saying that this is the possible outcome if you don't straighten out whatever this is. If you don't deal with the root of the problem, this could be the potential outcome. If you're watching this, then take the proper action, okay? I'm not trying to scare you, but this is what the cards are saying. I uh, have a card for the four of coins here, please. Four of coins. Yeah, you're choosing to avoid you, you're choosing to avoid the situation in its entirety. You're choosing not to speak up. You're choosing to play that middle ground right here. You're like, no, no, I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna play nice, nice, but by playing nice, nice, you're not picking a side. You know, and that's the side of your marriage or the side of your job. Like you do you know what I mean? Like whatever it is you're trying to succeed in. You have to choose that and you have to be in all in. You can't be, you know, one foot on one side and one foot on the other. You, you, you can't do that. Okay. All right. What spirit, what can cancer do? What the heck? What can cancer do? Yeah. Deal with your shadow self. Deal with, do the inner work. Literally what we've been talking about. You need to do the inner work. You're going to have to face the hard truths of the situation, my dear Cancer. You have to do the hard work, the shadow work. And this is the self shadow, like focusing on what is really going on inside. What is your part in the situation? How can you correct it? Because your sonar is off. All right, final message here for, oh, there it is. Lion spirit, be generous of spirit, but it came out in reverse. And this is saying um, you, you need to pull back on the generosity on, remember, walking both sides of the line. No. Sometimes you need to be a little bit on the greedy side and say, you know what? I need to take time for me. In order for me to figure my ish out, doing shadow work, you can't be doing shadow work and paying attention, you know, here, there and everywhere. And you're probably like, well, like, well I can't just stop everything and just work on myself. You're right. Don't stop life. But you do have to stop for at least 10, 20, 30 minutes a day to focus on you. In the morning at night, whatever works best where you're not interrupted, but you have to do some serious hard work here, my dear Cancers, in order to get the outcome that you are wanting. Because right now, it's looking, looking kind of gloomy. All right? And that's only if you don't do the hard work. That's only if you don't do the hard work. This is only a potential outcome. You have the ability ability to change the outcome. That's what tarot is for. It's guidance. None of this is set in stone. None of it. You have the ability to alter it if you choose to by doing the work. All right, my dear Cancers, that is what I have for you. I hope this did resonate. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I hope this really worked. Please do some shadow work, okay? Until we meet again.